This video is going to examine how to create a more complex hatch pattern with more than one descriptor line. <clears throat> um, it's a good idea when you are creating a more complex hatch pattern to actually draw the hatch pattern out so that you know what it's going to look like. You can take some measurements and that kind of stuff, which I've already done here. I've, I've drawn the hatch pattern out, which is the, are the white lines, and then with the green dimensions. I added some dimensions in just for demonstration purposes. Um, if I was doing this for myself, I probably wouldn't put the numbers in, but you know, it, it's just good for uh, demonstration purposes here, what I want to do. So we're going to have basically, I'm going to call this long cross because we're going to have long crosses. So it's got a, you know, it's got a cross here that's an inch long and a half of an inch tall. Okay. The, the long dashes themselves are an inch with quarter inch space inch quarter inch space and the short part here is a half inch with a quarter inch space and a half inch with a quarter inch space the other thing that it's a good idea to do when you're creating a pattern like this is to know where your start point is going to be so I'm just going to copy this uh, this um, this donut that I created here and I'll say let's put it it doesn't really matter we'll say we'll put it right there so let's just assume that that's our zero, zero when we're doing this, just so we kind of know how this is going to behave. So after you get it drawn out and you have your measurements and you're, you're sure that you this is what you want it to look like, you can go ahead to your editor and you can look at you know doing this. So uh, this is left over from last time. So we're going to go ahead and just reuse this. So it's going to be at an angle of zero. Instead of long dash, we're going to call it long cross. and it'll be long crosses and I need to go to save as and I'll save it in that same place remember not as a text document but as long cross dot pat so it would work at this point but it would look just like long dash so we still need to make a couple of changes here to this so we've got long cross with long crosses and so the first line is going to start at zero, okay? Or it's going to have an angle of zero, which is this angle here. Let me zoom up on it. All right. So it's going to go at an angle of zero, and it does go through zero, zero. If this point right here is zero, zero, it starts right there. Okay, it starts at zero, zero, and it goes like that. Um, my X offset is going to be zero, okay? Because this one starts here. The next one starts straight up from it. It's not shifting to the right. It's not shifting to the left. So my X offset is going to be zero. So I'm going to change this back to zero. My Y offset in this case is three quarters. So because from here to here, it's three quarters of an inch. So I'll change my Y offset to three quarters. And then my pattern here is down for one, up for a quarter, and then not anything else. Okay. So that will create my first line of my pattern. I'll press enter to make sure that it's got an empty space there and then I'm just going to go ahead and file and save this <clears throat> and then it's not a bad idea when you're doing something like this just to test it to make sure it works in between each line so now I can come in here and I can say okay let's hatch this and I'm going to use there's my long cross okay and so now I could even compare you know does this match this yeah so far it matches this okay so we're, we're pretty good so far. Uh, the next thing we want to do now is we want to add the other line, the other line that crosses this. So uh, now what I can do is I can bring this back up and we can look at this. So the second line that we need to put in here is going to be a vertical line. So the angle here is going to be 90 degrees. And then the next set of numbers that we need to put in is the origin of this. And up until this point, it's always been zero, zero. But now we don't want this line to begin at zero, zero because we wouldn't get a cross. We'd get like an L shape. Okay. So our origin, I'm going to make this corner right here. Okay. So the origin is 0.5 in the X and point, negative 0.25 in the Y because it's a half of an inch over and a quarter of an inch down. Now, something you can do to kind of get a hold on this is you can simply just come in here and draw a line. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it green. So I'm going to draw a line from the endpoint there to there. 
okay? And then what you can do is you can list that line, use the list command, and it gives you the X offset, okay? See, it says delta X is 0.5, and the delta Y is negative 0.5, or 25. Now this only works when it's a horizontal line, but you know, it's something you can kind of get an idea of. The other thing you could do is you could come in here and you could put you know some dimensions on it right so I could say let's put a linear dimension from <clears throat> from there to there and you'll see that it's 0.5 okay or I could give it you know this distance it's 0.25 that direction okay and uh, that helps you out with you know getting you just have to remember whether it's positive or negative okay so that's that's one of the things that you can do to do that so now coming back to here it's going to start at 0.5 in the X and negative 0.25 in the Y. And then um, my X offset, if I look at my pattern here, uh, my X offset is zero because now we're going in the angle of the line, which is straight up and down. The next one's going to start here. Okay, so it's still perpendicular. So my X offset is zero, but my Y offset is one and a quarter. So I'll come in here. My X offset is zero comma my y offset is one and a quarter <clears throat> comma and then my line pattern is down for a half and up for a quarter so 0.5 down comma 0.25 excuse me negative 0.25 for the up make sure that it's got that empty space at the end and now i can save this okay so that's all good to go and now again to check it you can simply renew this, make it think about it a little bit. And indeed, I got exactly what I expected here, okay, out of my pattern. Now from here, you can kind of go through and you can, um, you can experiment with it and play a little bit more. So I'm gonna get rid of these dimensions just so that we can kind of play without having those in the way. And let's say that I wanted to have another set of crosses in here. So I'm gonna just get rid of all this stuff. <clears throat> And I'll say, let's, okay, let's copy um, all of these. Okay, and I'm gonna go from there at negative 0.625 comma 0.375. So now see, there's our, there's our new one. And then I'll just copy so we can get a whole pattern here. Okay, and then I'll copy this 0.75. 1.5 and so on so now if I wanted this pattern so that it's you know got more crosses basically new crosses in between the old crosses that were there okay so I'm gonna put a new cross in here that changes our pattern a little bit doesn't it because now I can still use the same stuff that's there but my X offset and my Y offsets are gonna be different because notice that my X offset for this first one if I come in here and I draw a line my X offset's gonna go from there to there. Okay, so this is line one, this is line two, and then the next one that'll draw is line three, and then line four. If I were to copy this line, you'll see how they, they all kind of line up from there to there to there, right? Okay, so you can use this to help identify where your pattern starts and begins. So if I wanted it to look like this, all I have to do, everything works except I just have to change my X offset and my Y offset. Okay, so I can come in and I can say, all right, um, if I list that line that I drew there, <clears throat> that line right there, my X offset now becomes five eighths of an inch and my Y offset is three eighths of an inch. Okay, so if I come back here on this one, my X offset, which I did have as zero and three quarters, is now five eighths, 0.625. <clears throat> And my Y offset is 3 eighths, which is 375, okay? And then um, I'll save that real quick, okay? And now looking at the next one, okay? This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, here's my zero, zero, right? If this is the first line that draws, the next line it's gonna draw is gonna be that one there. So I'll say, okay, line from there, to there just so I have something to measure okay so if I say okay what's this distance here my 
That's going to be my y offset. Remember, because it's perpendicular to this direction, my x offset is going to be from there to there. Okay, so my x offset is 375 because remember it goes in the direction of the line, so 90 degrees. X is this way, 375. Y is this way, 625. So I come back in here. My X offset now is going to be 375. And my Y offset is going to be uh, 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, and I'll save that. So now, just by changing my X and Y offsets, I've more than doubled the number of crosses I'm going to get in there. Or maybe I've just doubled it. All I have to do is make AutoCAD think about it a little bit and put it back in there. And now we get something that has twice as many crosses as it did before.